I've come to Warley Woods on the edge of Birmingham with an armful of the best and most interesting walking tech I could find. And to help me test it all out, I've roped in none other than the president. Hello, Stuart. As well as being an esteemed journalist, broadcaster and Radio 6 music DJ, Stuart McConey is also president of the Ramblers Association. Now, do you normally have lots of tech with you when you're walking? Well, I've been seduced by various bits of kit down the years, but I'd rather be A, unencumbered, and B, you never want to be that guy, all the gear, no idea. Well, you may not be in luck, because I've got quite a healthy selection of stuff to test here, and I'd be interested in your opinion on whether it is an encumbrance or a, a useful asset. Well, bring it on. Mm. First on the agenda are some boots. These are the Hoka One One Sky Kaha Gore-Tex. They're super lightweight at just 508 grams, fully waterproof, and have two separate layers of foam cushioning in the sole. They're one of, one of the companies that's trying to bring running shoe technology into walking boots. As you can tell from my live and supple physique, I'm no stranger to running, so... Um... <laughs> I, well, I'd be interested to, <laughs> interested to see what they're like. The cleats, the lugs on mm. the soles look pretty uh, heavy duty and capable, which is good. This is their mega grip, uh, which promises unparalleled levels of grip on wet and dry surfaces. Unparalleled? Quite Indeed. a boost, let's see. <laughs> Next, something to keep us warm. This 8K FlexWarm Pro is a heated waterproof jacket with three built-in heating elements that can reach a cosy 50 degrees Celsius in under two and a half minutes. 50 degrees Celsius sounds maybe, maybe a bit too warm, I don't know. You can choose different temperatures with these uh, buttons on the coat here, or for more precise control, you can use an app on your phone via Bluetooth and select, say, a, a warm rear, a cooler, <laughs> a cooler front. And, and have you ever had a Bluetooth control? I feel coat? so <laughs> primitive now that I've never had a Bluetooth jacket before. <laughs> I've just used regular clothes, but I'm fascinated. Well, let's hope it also impresses. Let's get hiking. When did you start this whole rambling business? Um, late. I, I wasn't one of those kids who went up um, Helvellyn and Scarfell Pike. Wow. I, I was in my 20s, really, when wow. I was a music journalist. as an antidote to that. It's good exercise, it's good for one's mental health, it's good for all kinds of things. It's, mm. it's, an, it's a bit of a drug, it's a bit of an addiction <laughs> with me now. Uh, are we actually going anywhere in particular? Indeed we are. I've uh, pre-plotted a route out and it's been uh, beamed across to my watch here. This is the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro Solar, a rugged smartwatch with solar charging, heart rate and pulse oximeter sensors and built-in GPS maps. Is that this path? That is this path, and it alters the heading according to the way we're facing. That's, and I, and that's it's pretty neat. Yes, it's effectively, it's like a sort of uh, a GPS mapping system independent of your phone. The Garmin keeps track of your position with GPS, GLONASS or Galileo, which are the three major location satellite services. Yes, it's expensive, but it should mean you never get lost. So if you're up a mountain, it'll still work? Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't want to be reliant up a mountain on anything battery-powered. That's the thing. You might change your mind when you uh, consider the battery power okay. in this, because in standard mode, it will last for 16 days. 16 days? Yes. Put it in battery-saving mode, it can last for 80 days. So you could go around the world? Well, you could go around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, my hike with Stuart will be much shorter. Now, how's he enjoying that heated jacket? It has a 36-hour battery life, you know. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's... Well, when you said 50 centigrade, I was slightly nervous that I would poach. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's pleasant. It's not too hot. Can we turn it up? Just get out the app, press to connect, and you've got a whole choice of things. I'm going to put it on all zones high. I'll do the same. Yes. Because I want to be grilled on both sides, lightly, <laughs> but professionally. <laughs> Yes. You can use the battery pack to charge other things, like your phone. Can you? The, yes. the one that's in, in, yes. in here somewhere. Yes, is that useful? Th yes, that is useful. That is actually very useful, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Let's move on. Great. How are you finding the boots, John? Comfy? Well, I am. I'm finding them light and comfortable. Plenty of support. Yeah. No, the, yeah. I'm, I'm, really, uh, I'm really liking them. Comfy, Ooh. springy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have no problem at all with these. Come on, John, keep up. Right, actually, I was thinking we could stop here because there's a few more things I'd like your opinion on. The SitPak 2.0 is an on-the-go seat. This little canister folds out into a monopod-style stool. Weighing in at just over half a kilogram, it's height-adjustable and small enough to fit comfortably in your backpack. 
If possible, this yeah. is less comfortable than standing up. This has added an element of tension rather than it has. relaxation. Anything could twist at any Anything point. Could go. <laughs> you, yeah. No, I think I'll just curl up in a ball feetly if I want to relax on a walk rather than do this. I don't think this will catch on. <laughs> no, no, I, no, well, no. I think I'll put that to one side. Yeah. But in here, there is something which uh, should at least be refreshing. This is the Conqueco Portable Coffee Maker, a battery-powered portable espresso machine that uses disposable pods for coffee on the go. Now, I've seen these sort of espresso makers before, but they normally involve putting hot water in. Right. This one does the water heating itself. Fabulous. Let's do it. Yes. You simply put cold water in the water tank, a compatible coffee capsule in the bottom, and press go. The battery can be charged at home or in the car and heats up a fresh brew in 8 to 12 minutes. All we've got to do now is wait a bit. How are you on trees? Really bad. Same here. When the light changes colour, the coffee's ready. With a crema on top, look. OK. Although with two people in need of refreshment, there might be a problem of quantity. Is that it? Yes, it only does one cup of espresso. <laughs> OK. Mm, let's see what it tastes well, like. Mm. It's a lovely. <laughs> it is, It's a very yeah. authentic espresso. Is it worth the trouble? Soon over. Indeed, yes, <laughs> half an espresso <laughs> each. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With the coffee break all too quickly complete, it's time to step up a gear and venture off the beaten path. This slope should be an opportunity to put these supposedly super grippy Vibram soles to the test. OK. Are you ready? Mm, let's try it. The go on, get onto that twig. Oh, oh, actually, these are pretty good, really. I have to are say. They, how are they? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, they seem to be doing the trick. I think they were reassuringly grippy. Yeah, absolutely. They did the job very well. And with dusk approaching, we headed back to base camp to take stock of our most agreeable walk. Ah, good what day. A, what a great day indeed. I was really impressed by the watch. Mm -hmm. I've not seen uh, maps on a watch work this well. No, they were good. What stood out for you? Not very high tech, but I loved the boots. I thought the boots were great. Lightweight, comfortable, performed well on that little scramble. So, um, yeah, less technologically advanced, but very effective. A splendid day, wonderful strolling. Thank you very much. No, thank you, John. <laughs>